My name's Giselle Rosman and I coordinate the IGDA Melbourne chapter and as part of that I run the Global Game Jam once a year. Game Jam is 48 hours of making games in groups and it runs throughout the world. So there was more than 34 countries and more than 300 sites. So on the first night, the theme is revealed around 5 p.m. and then people break into teams. My name is Murray Lorden. I was a game designer at the Global Game Jam for 2013. The theme this year was a heartbeat sound. It took about three hours or something to settle on our idea. We had a lot of the core gameplay done on the first night, so a lot of the core stuff was there and then we just spent the next two days pretty much mostly just polishing it up. Some jammers have never actually made a game. Other ones get to work with people that they haven't worked with before and just try out things. It's very much an experimental sort of environment. It's a really good chance to explore things a bit more. First night for dinner we had pizza. We had 72 pizzas. Usually by the end of the first night they're still pretty pumped. They still seem to think that they can survive for 48 hours without sleeping. And a lot of them have learned that sleep is actually your friend. By the start of the next uh, um, Saturday morning, if your game's really not going anywhere, you've still got a chance to scrap it all and start again. So a lot of it's just getting that first build and going, is this idea, do we keep going with this idea? You really want to have something pretty solid by the end of the Saturday and that way you can work on polishing it on Sunday. I guess you're just getting into the, getting through all the things that need to be done and starting to add in the art and getting more of the mechanics refined. You sort of can still feel on day two that you've, you feel like there's most of the jam still ahead of you and on day three you start to feel like the deadline's coming up to meet you but um, the pressure's on right from, right from the first night really. Saturday night we had a spit roast. I was a little bit over optimistic there and I'm very thankful to all of our volunteers but we cooked, what was it, 40 kilos of lamb. Yeah, they're pretty worn out by day three but they're still generally quite perky, I guess, um, in that they're doing that thing that they love and they get to focus on that all weekend. You still have a lot to squeeze in that you're trying to get in but you're also thinking about the presentation of it, like you start to think, oh yeah, we need like a way to quit out of the game or we need some instructions, we need a main menu and suddenly you're thinking of all these things you maybe hadn't thought about too, so squeezing all the sort of usability interface and sort of things like that in. We got a bit worked up, I guess like on any project, yeah, there's tension at the end, but it was exciting and we, we, we did kind of feel like we were going to have it finished, but there was definitely a squeeze just to get everything in. It gets a bit intense because people always know it as a 48 hour jam but you actually you start sort of 5pm Friday and you actually have to start uploading by 3pm and all of a sudden everyone goes but that's a 46 hour jam so it can get a little bit hectic there can be a bit of stress I know there was one moment where the internet went down Sunday afternoon, we invite guests around to come and check stuff out as well, but the jammers love seeing what everyone else has been working so hard on. You know, a lot of the feedback I got was my favourite part was then seeing what everyone had made. Yeah. 